Well, everybody can exhale now a little bit. Keep Whit dry today. He, he doesn't need a Gatorade vest. Come on. Whit, congratulations. That was nail-biting. It's game 155. What are the nerves like in the ninth inning there? Never a doubt. What do you mean nerve-wracking? That was never a doubt there. Scotty on the mound. Never a doubt. No, I know. I know you believe in him, but, but what a crazy game, though, too. I mean, you look like you had a home run. That should have been your fourth hit. And then that double ends up being a, a rule book double to save everything there. How crazy was this game? Yeah, I mean, I had a little bit of everything. Um, yeah, I mean, that would have been nice to get a fourth hit like that, but we play at the K. I'm used to that being an out, so I wasn't even really that upset. <laughs> Uh, but, you know, Scotty did a great job locking it down. How about Booby? Booby had a fantastic outing for us today, and uh, we were putting pressure all game, but, you know, just couldn't really, like, break it open. Uh, but that's going to happen sometimes, and uh, we did enough to win, so that's all that matters. All right, so real quick, let me have you expand on Chris Bubich, whose ERA now is, I think, about 2.70 in the month of September. What have you seen from him in terms of maturity this last month? Well, he's pounding the zone. He's, he's trusting his stuff a little bit more. He's not feeling like he has to be so perfect with everything and uh, mixing up great. Uh, but getting ahead, throwing strike one, which is a huge thing for all of our pitchers, uh, especially our young guys. Uh, and he's doing a lot better job of that. And when he does that, uh, he's, he has more success, more times than not. And so hopefully he can continue to build on that, continue to learn. And it's been fantastic. One double away from 40 doubles and 40 stolen bases. Three hit wit in the first four innings. Congratulations. Safe travels to Cleveland. We'll see you back in Kansas City on Tuesday.